Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip, drip or drown, baby. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we're going to be talking all things fall. Fall is right around the corner. Our wardrobes change, the weather changes, the leaves change, things change. So um, that's kind of what we're going to be highlighting today. Things that you should have in your wardrobe or that I would recommend, whatever, yada yada yada. I'm not going to really cover shoes in this video because I feel like that could be an extra video. So be on the lookout for that or just let me know if you even want that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first category. And the first category is going to be kind of a weird one, but I recently realized how many pairs of green pants that I have, and I just feel like that's a nice fall staple. Really, it's a good year-round staple, but uh, when I say green pants, this is kind of what I'm referring to, this big stack right here. I'm going to make like a TikTok or a reel with like every single pair, because there's no way I'm going to show you all of them right now. It would make this video 30 minutes. To kind of highlight a couple. We do have this most recent pickup, which is the Needles HD Pants, the TikTok special. I actually got these from my own store, the Mark Boudelier store. If you guys have seen that already, check it out. I will link it below. There's a ton of like needles, engineered garments, other brands I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So give it a look. These things are gigantic. They're literally humongous. And I'm all for the wide leg pant trend thing, parachute pants. I'm not gonna say that the green pants that you buy should be parachute pants but definitely an option for you I find that the needles ones kind of border on the too baggy realm if that exists um, it does to me maybe not to you but we're gonna try them out I literally just got them today so we're kind of experimenting still but to show you another one that I wear a lot I know you've seen these before the engineered garments FA pants there's literally a bleach stain, there's a hole in the bottom. I have worn these to death. So, highly recommend. They they release a version of this pant like every single year in a bunch of different materials, colors. There's like corduroy ones, there's, I don't know. There's a lot of different options. So, definitely look at those. Other brands to kind of highlight, Orslo. I know there's some in my store, but they definitely have like some green pants out there. Um, Stussy pants, I mean if you want something that's a little more affordable than some of these others, that's definitely an option as well. Or you can just go for like the car fart work in progress or vintage or any of these other routes. Um, I actually have a random pair of North Face ones that are pretty old. So some of those technical hiking sort of brands, you might be able to find a better deal um, from one of those as well. So there you go. That is our first category. Our next category is jackets light jackets because fall doesn't mean freezing quite yet there's always like the cooler fall days versus the warmer fall days so i kind of have some variety that i'm showing you right here but first up we have this needles dang i'm just showing you a bunch of needles right needles barracuda jacket i have kind of had this on ice for the past like however many months and i'm excited to pull it out this season it's sort of a classic harrington style in fact I just realized that both of the jackets that I'm showing you right now are classic Harrington styles. Whatever. But I love this one. The pattern on it is great. The corduroy is obviously a nice touch. It's kind of big on me, but I feel like that's kind of, it kind of works for what it is. Maybe it'll look good with those pants, honestly. A full, full needles ensemble. I don't know. But wanted to show it to you guys because I don't remember if I have already or not. The other one, which I may have just shown you guys this on YouTube. I don't know if I showed it on YouTube or somewhere else, but it's this Margiela Harrington jacket. It is like a reconstructed Harrington. So kind of like a track jacket material on one side and then traditional jacket on the other. But super nice, good lightweight option. This is actually a spring summer piece, but I think it will translate pretty well for fall. But yeah, for fall, I definitely recommend sort of the Harrington jackets, sort of the trucker jackets. Those are both easy classic styles. Anyone can wear them. Work jackets, you know, these are all sort of like hit at the hip type jackets that pretty much work for everybody. Um, obviously, you can go like zip ups as well. I'm showing hoodies in a second, but you know, like the zip up, that's another option. So not going to really give you a brand on that one because it's just such a large group of things 
but I'll pop up su some suggestions. Let's get on to hoodies though. I've got two that I was going to briefly show you. This one right here I got from Canoe Club. You can see that it says it right on the front. And uh, I've been wearing this thing a lot. It is very, very cozy. Uh, just a nice oversized, but not like too oversized. And I've been into the whole cropped hoodie thing, but this one is not really that, it's not really cropped. And I kind of appreciate that because I feel like not every hoodie you own needs to be like boxy and cropped. So it's kind of nice to have one that feels a little bit more timeless. But I also have this one from Reese Cooper that is a little bit more of that vibe. Not as much as some. Um, obviously I have like my Adam Small hoodie, which I love that hoodie. It's one of my favorites, but it is very on that boxy oversized realm. Whereas these are kind of more like, I guess, classic styles in a sense. But I love this one from Reese. I think that's one of Reese Cooper's best products is his hoodies. Uh, just a very thick material. And I actually like washed this with black stuff or something like that and darkened the yellow color. But I really like the way it looks. I've had this hoodie for literally years. If you guys are loyal followers, loyal subscribers, whatever, you've probably already seen this hoodie. And if you're not a loyal subscriber and you want to subscribe right now, that'd be crazy. Anyways, uh, let's get on to jeans. I'm definitely a fan of jeans. Uh, I, I have a Jing, which is available on my website right now if you wanted to go check it out. But uh, that's besides the point. I have these capital double knee jeans right here. Uh, I got these like last year. They got these front pockets. I love sort of the crisscross stitching going on. Nice wide leg cut. Um, yeah, dark jeans. You can't go wrong for fall. Goes with everything. Again, recommend Orslo. I recommend 316, Warehouse & Co, Full Count & Co. Really, if it's on Blue & Green or Self Edge, those two retailers, or Canoe Club for that matter, you really can't go wrong. So another option right here is these Levi's that I have. These are definitely more of like a one of one type situation. You could probably find some that look pretty similar. It's like a bleached out denim with a released hem that remained black. And then it has like little black smudges on it. Very sort of the Owen Hyatt inspired jean, very like unsound rags type beat, but Nevertheless, they're great, and I got them for a really, really good deal. You could probably find something similar to this, but I don't really have like a retail suggestion for you. So definitely would go secondhand or do it yourself. Like I said, you could literally bleach out a pair of black jeans, add the smudges yourself, release the hem, all that. So easy stuff. Let's get on to cardigans. You guys know I love cardigans. I'm gonna show you a couple. Jesus Christ, I did not realize how many needles items I picked out. This was not intentional, I swear. We have the Needles Psychedelic Mohair Cardigan. I love this one. You guys have probably seen this one, but it was uh, sitting atop of my cardigan stack and felt like a good one to choose, so we went with it. But Needles makes great cardigans. Beams makes great cardigans. Vintage, Twofold B. I have a cardigan from him that's he always sources good ones. And then I have this Stussy cardigan, another piece from my storefront. I believe there's only like a double XL or something left, but I have similar styles up as well. I've been a big fan of this one. I love the colors, the stripes are nice. It's a nice, like not too, too thick cardigan. It's not too thick. And um, that's good for fall. Cause like I said, I feel like a lot of times in the fall, it's like freezing cold in the morning. And then by like 12 o'clock, it's hot as shit, so. Maybe that's just a Georgia thing, I don't know. That's all the pieces that I have right here. Other stuff that I would definitely recommend like getting for fall would be like long sleeves. Maybe you start looking at like thermals and stuff. Really, that's more of a winter thing, but long sleeve tees, not a bad idea. I'm sure there's other things that I missed out on. Accessories, obviously. Those are kind of year round things as well, like getting a good like side bag, some jewelry, like, <clears throat> the ones that are released that are still available on my website. I think this list was pretty good. I realized this was a pretty short video. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're gonna be wearing for fall. And also, I'm considering starting to do some like midweek videos where I just mostly film on the phone. Sort of minimal editing, minimal cuts. Just very, I don't know, real I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you think of that idea. I don't know if it'll be more vlog-like or more just kind of like this, just kind of a quicker, quicker setup, I guess. Um, I don't really know what I'm saying, but 
let me know if that sounds of interest. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye.